Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'll see the ener energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, so your person is saying, you are perfect in my eyes, don't ever change. So somebody feels like you are perfect in their eyes. They don't want you to change nothing about you. Not nothing at all, okay? <laughs> they said, I love you more than anyone, but failed to show it. So this person said they loved you more than anyone they ever loved. I mean, anyone, but they failed to show it. It's giving me King of Swords. This person has a hard time expressing their love. They do. What's this? This person is saying, sorry, I did not see your value and worth when we were together. Wow. Thank you, spirit. And what we have under the bottom. My heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. So this person's heart chakra was um, blocked off. Um, this person could have a hard time trusting people. Um, this person definitely could have been hurt in the past. Um, and it blocked the heart chakra off. This somebody heart chakra off. This somebody that um, has a hard time with um, trusting people or letting love in. Um, this person just couldn't see your value at the time or your worth because their heart chakra was blocked off. This person knew that, that it was something special about it, about you. They knew they loved you. But when it came to expressing that and showing that, this person just couldn't do it. I'm here and they fumbled you. And now somebody's in deep regret. Somebody's saying, you are perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. Now, we know nobody's perfect but, but God. But this person sees you as perfect. Like, they say, don't change nothing. I love everything about you. Everything about you. <laughs> so, see, they like, don't change nothing, baby girl, baby boy, queen, king, empress, empress, my divine beings. They like, don't change nothing. So, if you was questioning this person love, or if you was questioning, you know, yourself, um, looking at yourself differently because this person didn't accept you, it had nothing to do with you. It was never you. It was all about them. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages, please and thank you. This person definitely could have experienced some type of hurt and trauma in their life. We have rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Oh, excuse me. That's a spirit bird. That's confirmation. So spirit is saying um, that rejection was actually um, divine protection. Yeah, balance. Um, I feel like spirit was um, protecting you from this energy, not because they couldn't love you. It's just the fact that spirit wanted this person to go with it and heal themselves first before they can give you the love that you deserve. Spirit wanted this person to get more balance. Okay. I'm hearing this, all this person's chakras is all over the place. Okay? Um, so that rejection was um, actually divine protection. I just feel like divine was just protecting you because divine wanted this person to do some work before they, you know, before they come to you. You know, before you guys, um, I feel like with that protection, it was more so of divine protecting you um, from a lot that could, I heard a lot, wow. So a lot could have happened. So if you think you experienced something with this person that, you know, that was just like, that was just like a little on the surface. Spirit is saying it could have been more. You was actually being protected. Okay. We have decisions. Spirit wants you to decide, um, decide what you're going to do with this relationship, Sunseeds, because somebody wants your trust. Okay. Um, maybe the time it wasn't right before because Spirit wanted to work on this person. Yes, you guys were on different pages, but Spirit. This person feels like this is something that's faded. Okay, this is a faded, um, something is faded, period. Um, and like I said before, I feel like the reason why it was divine protection is because spirit wanted to work on this person before you guys actually come into this union. Okay, it says fate. This is a destined partnership. This person needed work done. You guys were definitely on the two different pages, okay? That's why the timing at that time wasn't right. I heard these chakras was all over the place. This person was also blocking um, um, blocking their money. So this person could have been experiencing a lot of financial issues because, you know, when your heart chakra blocked off, there's, I mean, ain't no, ain't no money, ain't nothing could come to you. Ain't no abundance, nothing could come to you. Love is the highest vibration of all. 
I'm getting Earl Heavy, the King of Swords. Okay? But this is how this person sees you, as somebody who has a lot of integrity. Okay? This person has a lot of respect for you. Okay? Um... They if they if they if they acted like they didn't see it in the beginning, um they sure as I'm I'm be honest, they sure they sure as heck see it now. Okay? Actually they see it even more. And there's no doubt about that spirit is saying. It's actually no doubt about it that this person is in love with you. So you need to quickly decide what you want to do with this relationship. Cause I feel like this person is coming towards you, your obsession. Okay, this person constantly thinks about you a lot. Okay, a lot. This person also could be trying to manifest you uh, back in just by constantly thinking about you. Integrity. Somebody who got a lot of respect for you. Somebody got a lot of respect for you. Okay. Yeah, self care. You take care of yourself. You put yourself first. This person will love the way how you love on yourself. You respect yourself. Okay. You hold yourself in high regards. Yeah, this person value everything about you. They got a lot of passion for you, too. That's why they come in and want a second chance, okay? So let's pull from the tarot, son. See, let's see what else spirit wants you guys to know. Yeah, eight of wands, high priestess, the devil, eight of pentacles, okay? So this is from this deck, but I'm going to tell you, look, eight of pentacles, the devil, high priestess, Eight of Wands. This is just giving me straight that somebody, okay, there's somebody I want to work on things with you, okay? This person also, you, a lot of you guys could work from home, home okay? Um, you could be someone who work a lot, but this person is definitely obsessing over you with this Devil Choir High Priestess, okay? Yeah, they are. I feel like um, a lot of you guys, you are this High Priestess with the Eight of Wands, okay? This person wants to um, definitely come towards you, okay? This person wants to speak some type of truth to you, okay? It also could be how this person, um, you know, actually always felt about you, but they, um, with this moon card on this high priestess, but they kept it a secret. This person is actually obsessing over you, okay? They are. Mm. We're going to put that to the side, so let's see. We're going to put that to the side. Yeah, High Priestess again. High Priestess. Three of Cups. This person wants to reconcile with you. I'm telling you. I can't. What did I tell you? I see that King of Swords. I knew it was there. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. Hell back. Yeah, I feel like he held, this person held, he or she held back. Ace is spirit that's the damn truth. Or it also could be with that King of Swords and Four of Pentacles. I just felt like this person just um held on too tight to their old ways, you know? Somebody knew they had to be vulnerable when it came to you and open. And this person just mm, they refused to see you for being an earth angel. Period. High Priestess with the Page of Wands. You guys could be some type of messenger or you um, guys um, definitely could be receiving some type of good news. It could be from a tarot reader. I can be that tarot reader that's giving you the good news. Uh, you know, I don't know taking how it resonates. But we have the King of Cups and Tempers. I'm telling you, somebody fell in love with an Earth Angel. I can't make it up. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Sagittarius energy, Aquarius energy. But I'm telling you, somebody fell in love with Earth Angel. Somebody's a star seed. The temperance in the star, that's a star seed. Somebody fell in love. And they feel like it's faded. I can't make it up. They feel like it's faded. This is a destined par partnership. Yep. This person see themselves growing with you. Mm-hmm. I heard um, quit. So a lot of you guys could have quit your job. Um, you guys could have been working a regular nine to five and quit your job and decided to work from home. That's only going to be for one or two of you guys. I just heard that. Okay. You could have motivated this person um, to want to do more. Okay. Expanding horizon. Okay. But a lot of you guys, um, you guys just spent a lot of time at work. Okay. 
somebody could work in um you know the corporate world you guys can work in a um, tall building you could have also a beautiful view where you work at a lot of you guys spend a lot of time at work but while you're at work, someone is, uh, you know, constantly thinking about you. But they do it in secret. They do it in secret. This person feels like you're perfect. And this person is in a lot of regret because they didn't value you, you know. They didn't show you how worthy you were when you guys were together. They said, I love you more than anyone, but failed to show it. Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. So somebody could have went from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. This is a big jump. So I see that. A lot of you guys could spend a lot of time at work building a legacy. A lot of you guys could have got a new promotion at your job that you guys got to raise. You guys could be making a um, lot more money. Okay. Seven of Cups with the yes. Whoever this person is that's in love with you, they spend a lot of time in their head thinking about you. A lot of time. This person wants a second chance, Spirit is saying. Holy Spirit, give us some messages, please, and thank you for my collective sun seeds. What are the messages they need to hear most important from this person? Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Somebody could be, um, your person could be stressed out, feeling defeated at this time, feeling like you won't um, take them back. Okay. Yeah, with the Six of Swords under the bottom. Some of them got, some of them feel like you got away. Yeah. This definitely could be someone from your past. Well, this person wants to reconcile with you. Somebody is in a lot of regret. Somebody feel like with this integrity and self-care that you just, this person knows that you know your worth, okay? This person feels like they don't have a chance in hell with you again. Ooh. But they gonna try. That's why Spirit is saying, Somebody need to decide. It's time to decide about this relationship. Okay? You do, Sunstein. So you're going to have to decide because this person is coming up in your energy. So if this is not what you want no more, you need to send that signal out to the universe. But if you do want this person, then you need to... I mean, this person is here. And they are going to reach out. Spirit, give me some more messages, please, and thank you. And when they reach out, you're going to have to decide what you're going to do. Okay? Is this something that you still want or no? Will of Fortune is here, okay? The Karmic Will is here, Four Swords, okay? Somebody wants to heal a situation with you. The Shrimp card, they want this bad, okay? This is somebody that's trying to gain up the courage and the strength to come towards you because somebody sees you in this beautiful energy of knowing your worth and they also know that they held back. Yeah, Knight of Cups under the bottom. I can't make it up with the justice. This person wants to bring you justice. Libra energy. Um, somebody wants to, you know, balance the skills out with you. I also hear that this person wants to bring you some type of truth, some honesty. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. You are this person's happiness. You are the Ten of Cups. That's how they feel about you. And they coming in to apologize. For some of you guys, this person could be at a distance from you. This could have been a long distance relationship, or it just could have been a lot of distance since you have um since you have spoken to this person. I just seen the nine of pentacles pre empress. I feel like a lot of you guys spend a lot of time working. You guys are very independent, self-sufficient, hard working. But this person is coming in to bring you an offer because they see you as their complete fulfillment, happiness. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. This person has been moving slow because this person doesn't know. Um, this person doesn't know if you're going to accept them back or not. I also feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, yeah, thank you, Spirit. 
with this Knight of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles under the bottom with the Sun card, Ace of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. This person has been working on their finances. Okay, this person has been working hard on their finances. Somebody wants to um give you what you deserve. I'm hearing. Somebody want to make sure they um yeah I'm hearing giving and receiving. This person been working on their finance. Somebody knows exactly, exactly who they want. And this person is making a choice and they're choosing you. So if you've been wondering what, what's been taking this person so long, it's because this person has been working on their, fin on their finances. Somebody just feels like you deserve a lot. Spirit, give me a call on the five of swords. Please and thank you. Yeah, I've seen the nine of wands want to come out. Yeah, this person feels defeated. Yeah, you know, this person... I feel like this person constantly beat themselves up about this connection and how they could have made it better. Yeah, seven of pentacles. There's somebody that constantly, you know, replay back you know, over and over um, how, how would life be. You know, they... You hear them siren? That's confirmation. Oh, wow. Somebody constantly beat themselves up about, you know, how how things would have been different if they just would have just gave more into the connection, gave you. Yeah, but this person. Yeah, this person go back and forth. Yeah, they constantly think about with the, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, how would life be? Right here with this Eight of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. How would it be if we just work on things? You know, how would life be? Okay. And with the Devil card, this is nothing but obsession. This person is obsessing and um obsessed and, and gripped by thoughts. How would life be if you know you guys working out? This is how they see you. And yeah, they ten of cups. High priest is the Eight of Wands. This person constantly think about this in their head. Yeah, I'm telling you, high priestess. The intuition telling them with the full card, you know. Somebody want a brand new beginning with you. Pisces showing up heavy. Yeah, the two of wands. Somebody is regretting with the two of wands and the five of pentacles. Somebody is regretting the choices that they made. Somebody feel like they went down the wrong way and they regret it. For a lot of you guys, this person could have ghosted you. Okay, but Spirit is saying that was for your protection. Okay. Spirit, give me a call to the weather pollution. This person wants to work on things with you. They do. The karmic will is here. Yeah, the will of fortune is clarified with the three of wands and the seven of wands. I feel like this is you guys planting your seeds. Um you know, just um, moving forward. A lot of you guys can have this person block or just have your boundaries up when it comes to this person, okay? And that could be their karma watching you still off, you know? And live this, you know, this certain life without them. It will forever re um, haunt this person. It will forever um, have this person in regret when they, when they think about you. A lot of you guys have turned your back with the... Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, and the, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, because a lot of you guys feel like it was a burden. A lot of you guys felt like uh, it was hard, you know, trying to, you know, work with this person. A lot of you guys, you didn't feel, the way how you feel about yourself now, son, says you didn't feel like that in this connection. It always made you feel like you had to fight for this person to see your worth. You had to constantly prove to this person your worth, okay? When you really didn't have to do none of that, okay? Because actually this person is saying, sorry, I did not see your value and your worth when we were together. Yeah, you had to constantly feel like you had to keep proving something to this person. Keep proving, keep proving. Yeah, five of wands. Yeah, uh -huh. This person could have also put you in competition with um with other lovers. You could have found out this person was, you know, dealing with other people. And I feel like it was only because this person could either been trying to make you feel insecure because with the integrity and self-care, this person knew that you knew your worth. They knew that you knew who you were. Okay? This person could have been trying to make you feel insecure by dealing with other people. 
Okay, maybe, maybe this person also could have been intimidated by you as well. Okay, but I, <clears throat> excuse me, but I also feel like with this lover and five of wands, it was like this person, they knew because they said you are perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. I love you more than anyone, but I failed to show it. Meaning for me, it's giving me intuitively. It's like <sighs> this person, like they would mess with other people. Okay, because they, this person, it says my heart chakra was blocked. This person wasn't trained to like, um, they knew how they felt about you, but this person was scared of it. So the study, this person going towards you and being open, this person ran from you. This person ran from you. Okay. This person put you in competition with other lovers. Okay. Hoping that this, 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 this boy over their heart, what they felt about you will go away. And it never went away. It never went away. They said my heart was my heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. Look, what's this? Hurting you, hurting you hurt me even more. It sure did because they try to put you in competition with other people, trying to re, trying to avoid this connection. It says I regret my past mistakes and wish I can have another chance with you. You got two second chance cards out here. It was just twenty two, twenty two. I regret my past mistakes and wish I could have another chance with you. Yeah. They said this is not this is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time. One day I believe we will be together again. This person always thinking, always, always constantly thinking about how it would have just been if they would have just rolled it out. I can't make it up. I cannot make this up to you. They always thinking, how would it be? Look at that thing from a higher perspective. Come through, Holy Spirit. Come through. Two of Cups with the Nine of Swords. They're going to, they always in their head, like, damn, how would it have just been if I would have just worked with this, um, with Mr. Sunflower Collective Sunseeds? If I would have just treated them better, I ran from the connection. I was scared. This person must be used to people that don't know they value. Low vibrational energies. The world card. Nine of Cups. Somebody lost their Nine of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you. Somebody look. Eight of Pentacles with the Temperance. And all they do is watch, watch, watch you, watch you. Watch you at work. Or watch you work on yourself. This person could also be watching you on social media. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, maybe every time you post something, this person could be the first one in your views or watching you, you know, just, just watching you. Yeah. But with the full card of Eight of Cups, a lot of you guys have started a new beginning. And tunatively, I feel like this person knows that. I don't know. What's the Four of Swords, Holy Spirit? What's the Four of Swords? Four of Swords is the Queen of Swords. This person have hurt you. They did. They hurt you. And the worst thing they could have ever let you do was heal. Because now with the Shrimp cards, like now somebody knows they worth. Um, somebody is, is confident. They got so love for themselves. Somebody is brave. They're courageous. Okay? Somebody is strong. And it's not to say that you didn't feel like that at that at when you um when you was with them, I just feel like this person was just projecting onto you, Sussie. They was projecting the energy onto you. So when you was with this person, I don't feel like, um, you know, you felt, you felt that much good about yourself. You also was a questioning yourself, like, do this person align, you know, what I stand for? You understand? Yeah, the chariot. Somebody got the hell on. Yeah, I feel like with this Seven of Wands and Queen of Swords, that was just you guys setting up boundaries, you know? Um, speaking, you know, speaking your truth, standing in, standing on your truth, knowing the truth. Give me a call on the shirt, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, the shirt card with, is clarified with the Nine of Wands. A lot of you guys been through a lot in this relationship, but actually, you know, the Nine of Wands, I love the Nine of Wands because it's the wounded warrior. You're so strong, you're so brave. You had the courage to still keep going. And somebody else is sad about that. They are. They sad about this third party. You know, third parties that they had. 
Yeah, we got the Justice card here. Um, Libra Energy with the higher friend. Okay. So the Divine is definitely closing out a cycle and bringing in um, balance. Okay. And definitely bringing balance to your life, Sun Seas, making things better. I feel like you guys are getting an, um, a new a new beginning. Okay. I definitely see Divine timing has definitely been at play in, um, in your love life. Okay. In your life just overall. Okay. Yeah. Um, again, that rejection was for your protection. We have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Um, I also see a lot of you guys having new love that's coming in. And that is for the ones who want to get after a betrayal. Yeah. Somebody manifested their own karma. Somebody manifested their own karma. Ace of Cups and Knight of Cups. I do see new love being here with the Queen of Cups. I do see a love connection being here. You being into this connection as well. Um... After closing out a cycle. Yeah, I do see somebody coming in wanting a commitment with you. Give me a card on the King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. I see somebody just being very well established in life, heart, you know, um getting their heart's desires, being catered by the universe, um, just being taken care of and just you know, constantly, you know, healing from this this situation. You know, healing is never done. Okay. Um, but I just see somebody, um, Divine definitely had your back. The death card. Okay. Scorpio energy. Yeah. I feel like whoever this person is. Yeah, seven of cup. Somebody, whoever this person is, they're all in their head about this, um, ending. Oh, two cards fell away. Yeah, so it's these. What is those cards? Let's get them. Wait, son, see. Wait, let me get these cards. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So we had the seven is towards with the sun in reverse. Something was definitely illuminated. Um, something was definitely illuminated to you. This person, they, they were sneaky. And that's why they said, um, I regret this like when it says. Yeah, hurting you hurt. Yeah. Seven is towards with the sun card in reverse. Hurting you hurt me even more. Cause this person's not happy. They're not happy. They're not happy at all. They watch you with the chariot. Move on with your life. Get victory. Three of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you guys um definitely um could have got a new vehicle. You guys could have definitely upgraded your job. Um some, for some of you guys, you got platforms. You're doing amazing. Um, everything in your life is taking off with the star card. Okay? You guys could be in a public eye or a public figure in some type of sort. Um, your life has changed drastically. There you go, Empress. Beautiful. You deserve it, Taurus. Libra energy. Any sign can embody this energy. But this is a, um, a divine feminine. Okay? Somebody said your beauty is a blessing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, somebody see you being celebrated, you know, happy. Um, and this person just wishing that they could have, you know, did things better or just appreciated you better when they had you. Um, let me get some more messages before we close this out. Let's get some messages from Spirit before we close this out. Sorry. Yeah. Whoever the person with the seven of swords and the sun card in verse, whoever was being sneaky, they're not happy. They said it. Hurting you only actually hurt my only hurt my soul. You know? Yeah, I didn't even see this card. It says warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. Yeah, and I feel like that's what you did. Yeah, I didn't even see. look, warning. Don't dismiss thank you, Holy Spirit. Something that's getting illuminated to you about this person. Okay, you see the red flags. I feel like whoever this new person is, you guys want to be open to each other. You could be vulnerable with this new person. Okay. A lot of you guys gonna be um yeah, feeling real accepted, being acknowledged. Somebody's gonna appreciate you. Okay. 
And you don't have to run in circles trying to get this person attention because somebody knows your worth. Period, Empress. Holy Spirit, give me some messages from my collective son, please, please and thank you. Power animal. A lot of you guys have um power animals that's around you guys, protecting you guys, supporting you guys. Okay. Okay, we have fairies. So you guys are very angelic, okay? It's something very different, okay, about you. Very. And Spirit is saying you are a powerful light worker. Okay, you are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. You are very divine. I can't make it up. Look at you, goddess. Period. Period. Okay. Archangel Michael under the bottom. Okay, you're definitely always being protected. That's why Spirit is saying that uh, rejection was actually your protection. Okay. We have throat chakra, okay? I feel like this person constantly um, wants to speak to you or speak out or reach out to you, but they find themselves a lot of time just being in the seven of cups, being in their head, thinking about this. Spirit is saying you are profoundly clairvoyant and visualize success. And I feel like a lot of you guys have, um, you know, have a lot of upgrades that um, that are that has headed to you. For um, others of you guys, uh, you guys, are, you know, got a lot of promotions um a lot of promotions as um, entering in your life from the most high for the divine. Okay. A lot of you guys could already be in this in this season of receiving new jobs, getting promotions. Um, just a lot of things is like about to upgrade in your life. It's about to change. Because spirit loves the fact um, how you have healed yourself gracefully, respectfully. Okay. I'm hearing you move with style and grace. It wasn't easy. But you put yourself back to, together with the help of the Most High and your Ascended Masters. That's always there in a spiritual and fight, fighting for you, protecting you. It says powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you, Sunseeds. I'm hearing, Sunseeds, you guys going to make a difference. Somebody's going to make a difference to the world. Wow. Yeah. This person, um, you're always going to be protected. You got a, um, a higher calling on your life. Somebody got a higher calling on your life. I'm hearing divine. Somebody has a, somebody has a, yeah. You have an assignment with the divine. So you guys could have definitely hear, um, yeah, parents, crystals, be willing to forgive, integrity. Okay. So for some of you guys, Sunseeds, the reason why this person, um, heart chakra, um, yeah, I forgot. The card is over there somewhere. But the reason why this person heart chakra was blocked off, this person with parents and crystals, this person went through something um, at an early age. Could it be um, something with their um, parents? Maybe they was let down by their parents. Maybe they was abandoned by their parents. Maybe they didn't receive the love or the attention that they wanted from their parents. And then when they met someone like you, because this person is saying, you are perfect in my eyes, don't ever change. It was just like, it was like foreign. This person never heard of that, never seen of that, never seen you before. Um, so their heart was closed off. They didn't know how to receive what you was giving. They didn't know. Okay? It also could have triggered this person. But now this person wants you to forgive them. Be willing to forgive with integrity. A lot of you guys have walked away because you felt like this person just didn't. Um, they didn't align with your morals and integrity. Um, and a lot of you guys just felt like it, it, it just took too much out of you to try to fight to prove who you are when you already know who you are. Okay? Yeah. This person has some type of addictions, you know, things that they was fighting with, you know, that was deep rooted inside. It, um, you tried to help this person, but this person need, needed more help. Okay. They did, son, sees. Yeah, cancel, clear, and delete. They just needed more help. Okay. Yeah, clear yourself. Okay. I feel like now, whoever this person is, male or female, this person constantly look at themselves in the mirror. Um... It, it, they beat themselves up, okay? They, it, they they beat themselves up because they knew that they, they you know, they could have had a chance with you. But I also feel like whoever this person is, they want to change. They want to change. Somebody want to change their ways. 
Um, I feel like you came in this person's life to, to, to do, to do, because you are, you are of the divine. You come here, you know, as an earth angel to teach people what love is. Okay. I feel like you, um, your assignment here was definitely, um, your assignment here was fulfilled. I'm hearing you pass with an A+. Plus. Divine is proud of you. That's why somebody is so blessed. That's why somebody is getting all of these accolades and, and um, you know, promotions from the universe. That's why so many things are going in your favor, okay? You, you came here empress. Somebody knows how important the assignment here on the 3D, okay? And I know it wasn't easy for you, Sunsees, but um, mm, I cannot make it up. I cannot make it up. This person said, allow me to work on me so I can work on us. Allow me to work on me so I can work on us. You you showed you showed this person true, authentic love. And it made this person second guess everything about their life. And spirit needed that because spirit wanted this person to go with it. Spirit wanted to work on this person. Okay. I'm hearing this is a destined partner. This is, this is fated. It's fated for you guys to be together. That rejection was actually for your protection is because spirit wanted to work on this person to open up their heart chakra. Spirit wanted this person to at least experience somebody like you. Even if it's just, well, you've been in the Empress energy, they will only receive someone like you once in a lifetime. There's a lot of queens and kings, but an Empress or an Emperor, you're only going to experience that once in your lifetime. And Spirit needed this person to experience somebody just like you, Sunsees, okay? So they could open up their heart chakra, so they could surrender to the divine, so they could release what no longer serves them, what hinders, hinders their growth, okay? Hurting you, hurting you hurt me even more. Allow me to work on me so I can work on, on us. I know it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Divine. Yes, I see. I'm telling you. This person knew. They know. We have faith. This is a destined partnership. Yeah. They coming. For a lot of you guys, like I said, a lot of you guys with the three of wands and seven of wands, I just feel like a lot of you guys... Have definitely, um, you know, turned your back on the situation and focused on you. And with that self care card, it just giving me an energy where you guys are just like pouring into yourself at this time, working on you. And it's nothing wrong with that, okay? So, and this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy to be in, okay? You know, strong, you're loving, you love yourself, you're compassionate towards others, you're caring, you're nurturing. Um, you just is abundant in all areas and aspects of your life. I love you, Sun Seeds. I hope this reading helped you guys, give you guys clarity on your situation. Um, yeah. You guys are doing an amazing job. Just keep going, okay?